After losing his wife and his memory in a car accident, a single father undergoes an agonizing experimental treatment that causes him to question who he is. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot here today to give you my thoughts, my review on the new Amazon Prime Welcome to Blumhouse film Black Box. Very excited to let you all know what I thought about this psychological horror thriller movie in this non-spoiler review. Before we dive into the details, as you can see on the screen now, make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. That way you all can stay up to date with what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to this channel, Movie Files, welcome. Definitely subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other movie reviews, TV reviews, live streams, and all the fun things we do over here on this channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Helps out the channel, but I also really appreciate it. And in the comments, Comments, guys let me know once you've seen black box what you all thought about this film your pros your cons and let me know if you're excited for this new uh, collaboration between Amazon Prime video as well as Blumhouse with welcome to Blumhouse let me know your thoughts on it and let's have some discussions in the comments below so if you're wondering what the heck is a welcome to Blumhouse well I'm gonna go over briefly right quick so welcome to Blumhouse is an anthology of unique and unsettling thrillers showcasing diverse cast led by immersing filmmakers and several including female directors. Now Amazon Prime will exclusively be playing these films worldwide. The first four in the series will be released this October of 2020 and then we'll be getting four more coming next year. So if you ask me, this collaboration between Blumhouse and Amazon sounds pretty promising. Now I will be covering the other three films that will be premiering this October and I'm really excited to see who's all involved in those movies and, and really excited to see where they go next year. But in particularly this year with the anthology uh, set up, I'm really looking forward to it. But today we're talking about Black Box. I'm going to transition to the positives here. The premise in this film is very interesting, guys. If I were to sell this film to someone, if I say it reminded me of this, that, and the other, I'm going to use these films as an example. Now I'm not saying the Black Box is the type of quality of these films, but it very it has some very similar circumstances in the film. Now the film I'm going to compare it to is 2010 Inception, 2000 The Cell, and 2015 Inside Out. Now again, it's not on the quality of those movies, but it has some similar elements to it. And if those three films had a love child and it was a hour and 45 minute sci-fi horror, it may look like a black box. So I say that going more in depth into the story without spoilers. Again, if you look at that log line, you have Nolan's character who loses his wife in this car accident. And in doing so, he loses his memory and he also loses his connection to his daughter, which is the heart and soul of this film. And, and, and I'm a sucker for these type of movies. Again, dreams and subconsciousness and revolving around memories and exploring uh, the darkest and deepest secrets of our characters. And I think this film does a good job of exploring the sci-fi elements of this this black box machine created by Felicia Rashad, who we'll talk about here in a bit. And I really liked how this film took its time in explaining the sci-fi and not just glancing over it and really kind of going to the depths of what they're trying to accomplish within this sci-fi. So I felt that the film was honestly at its best in the second act. And I say that because our Nolan character, he's trying to remember his past. He's trying to remember his work. He's trying to remember his life before the accident. But more importantly, again, the heart and soul of this movie is him trying to remember his daughter and trying to rekindle their relationship who and, and again you got to remember his daughter has not only lost her mother but she in a sense has lost her father because he doesn't remember her so again that was like the meat of the film to me and really when the film was at its best so transitioning to some of the characters here I thought that Mamadou Ache who I've seen him in some other works and I like him as an up and coming actor and he he's really charming he, he has a, a sort of charisma that I like but you're seeing his character Nolan he has some highs and lows and we'll talk about that a little bit later but in particularly in the highs referring to that uh, his the treatment device him and his uh, you know the, the relationship he builds with Felisa Vashad's character Lillian who's this doctor who's come up with this machine to try to help people fight their loss of memories and try to regain their lives back. So I like their kind of dynamic and I felt that, you know, that wonder of optimism from Felicia Rashad's character and trying to gain his memory back to get back to his daughter. I thought that, again, the heart and the soul of this film really kind of focuses and really shines in a second act. Transition is some of my favorite characters. I'm going to talk about Felicia Rashad here in a bit, Lillian, but the shining star of this film, who, who literally saves the first act, which I'll talk a little bit about later, but that's Ava. That is the daughter of Nolan, guys. She is so adorable. She She's so cute trying to help her dad remember who who they were together as a family, remember his mother, her mother, I should say, and I thought that she was so great, and literally, she's the best part of the movie, but she's also, she saves the first act, which I'll talk a little bit about later, which was my favorite act, but I thought that, um, you know, seeing her wanting to get the relationship back with her dad, trying to get at least one of 
her parents back was so emotionally satisfying and I thought that she was just so great in the role and then Felisa Rashad man she's America she's she's my TV mom for me growing up with the Cosby's I know it has a bad stigma to it with Bill Cosby but I thought that she was great and it's so it's been so fun seeing her back in the in the in the limelight and I thought that her as Lillian she was great without getting to her whole backstory and her motives I thought you you saw the passion of her trying to help Nolan and understand uh you know you understand her motives when it comes to her um you know her being involved in this film but I thought Felicia Rashad was great in this movie um I thought that the horror elements the body horror in particular was really well done even though it got repetitive towards the third act in the film but I thought that the actual kind of creature within Nolan's subconscious uh was a was kind of visually impressive I'm not gonna lie so transitioning into my cons again Mamadou Aceh is the lead of this film and again I thought that he did a good job at the points when he's trying to recapture his memory having the chemistry with his daughter and, and, and doing some different he had a lot of things that he was doing in this film but him as Nolan I mentioned he had his lies his highs but he also had his lows and I'm not gonna lie the first act him acting like a character that lost his memory it didn't feel organic to me. I didn't think he conveyed that emotion. It didn't feel as believable. And I feel like he struggled at those moments when he was trying to be true and honest to the character. I didn't really think he conveyed that too well. I also felt that some of the emotional demanding moments from Nolan didn't always work for me personally. Uh, Nolan's best friend, man, the doctor, Gary... He was underwhelming. Uh, I thought that the actor um, didn't do that great of a job of really kind of conveying him being the best friend, one of the best for Nolan and his daughter, Ava. And, and I just thought the performance from that Gary character was kind of lackluster for me and honest. I had mentioned a little bit in my uh, in the positives, but the second act is the best. But that first act. It was kind of rough to get through. Again, seeing Nolan's character not really conveying what I wanted him to and losing his memory and losing his wife and seeing his the Gary character, it, it, it stumbled to really kind of pique my interest. Again, the second act is when the film is at its best. The third act has a satisfying conclusion, but you're introducing some new characters, and I thought that their story was a little underwhelming and, and not as developed and, and not as fleshed out as I would have liked it to be. And then last but not least, this isn't really necessarily a criticism, but it was something that bothered me, and I won't get into the spoilers, obviously, but I felt like a certain character got off the hook way too easily, and I'll just kind of leave it at that. But overall... It's a cool concept. It uh, has some really interesting visual effects when it comes to the body horror. It has some really good performances by Ava and, um, you know, Felicia Fashad's character, Lillian. And, you know, minus my flaws that I mentioned, I'll give this film, Black Box, a solid 3 out of 5. Check it out on Amazon Prime and uh, keep an eye out for my other reviews for this Welcome to Blumhouse series. But let me know, which, once you guys seen Black Box, let me know your positives, your negatives, and are you excited to see more films from Welcome to Blumhouse. So that is my thoughts, 3 out of 5 for black box let me know in the comments what you all thought about the movie make sure to like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other movie reviews tv reviews live streams and all the fun things we do on this very channel hope you all are staying safe and thank you guys for watching this review and we'll see you in the next video